Hi, I'm Lisa, and welcome to Piano Video Lessons Note Reading Chorus. In this lesson, we're going to discover some notes that are in the ledger lines below and above middle C, just hanging out in the middle. We're going to practice them using the Note Rush app, and we're also going to practice them using our workbook. All right, let's get started. You might have thought we learned all of the ledger lines we needed when we learned the neighbors and skips around high and low C, but that's not the case. There are some notes that are written in the treble clef that will take us down into the bass clef region with adding some ledger lines. And as well, there are some bass clef notes that can take us a bit up into that treble region by adding ledger lines. So let's just have a look here at the workbook, and you can see that our middle C is there in the treble clef exactly where we expect it to be but if we move down a note from middle C we can do this by adding a ledger line or by adding a note that touches the ledger line but is just below it so we've got that note B which we normally find in the bass staff and we can also add an additional ledger line here in the middle that will give us a note that is a skip below middle C. And we can add a third ledger line and keep going, but we're just gonna focus right in here on this note and this note, which are the neighbor and skip below treble middle C. We can also do the same thing with our bass middle C. So here you can see middle C written exactly where we think it should be in the bass staff. Then we can add another note just touching that line instead of being on the line, it's above the line. This note is now neighbor above middle C in the bass staff, that's the note D. We can also add a second ledger line and give ourselves a note that's a skip above middle C in the bass staff, which gives us that bottom line of the treble clef, which is the note E, but we're gonna be reading it for the left hand up a skip from middle C. And we can also add another line and have a G, but we're just gonna stick for now with those two neighbors that are above bass clef middle C. It's the same concept, so if you understand this, you can continue going with more ledger lines. So in our workbook, you can see we're gonna practice drawing these notes, so practice writing your middle C and that same line with a D above it, and then two lines with an E, you can also write their names, then you can go play them on your piano, really reinforce what's going on there. Same thing with that treble staff, we'll write our regular old middle C, the note below it, and then two ledger lines, and so we have C down to B down to A, we can name those, and there is another page in the workbook here that has us naming all of the notes. Let's go ahead and do the Note Rush app. It's just gonna focus in on these new inner ledger notes. It's not gonna take long. So use the QR code and load your app and let's get going. All right, so I've loaded the lesson. I'm just gonna tap the yellow play button and another time to calibrate my lesson. And here I have bass, middle C, a space above, middle C. Okay, treble middle C, a skip below, middle C. Bass middle C, a skip above. Treble middle C, a note below, and I must have sang the right note because I got it right. All right, so let's do that one again without me talking, and we'll just go ahead and calibrate. I did it speedy fast, I got all five stars. So now uh, you can go back to the workbook and practice naming all of the notes in uh, with pencil practice and come on back for the next lesson where we're going to be reviewing all of the ledger notes. So the inner ledgers plus those higher ledgers, just to kind of sync those in together. We're almost done the entire course. You can get the workbook as well as the note rush QR codes at pianovideolessons.com slash note rush and I'll See you in the next lesson.